okay. you, if you piece it together and really listen to the music for the words, for what it is, it's all there. Everything that I said was gonna happen, happened. Everything that I said I wanted to do, I've done. Greatness, oh, comfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to stretch you. It's supposed to be a burden to a degree. This one, this one needs to be made. There's a good side to self-improvement and there's a toxic side. And you gotta make sure that you are on the good side, all right? You know, that's the reality of, uh, you know, success or greatness that it come with a roller coaster ride. It's funny, right? There's one piece of content. Some people can consume it and take a lot from it and they just, you know, understand it the right way. And then there's people out there who get motivated, but they take it the very wrong way. You can imagine how much advice that I had gotten. It's like, hey, just do that. And it's like, no, I want to draw a line between that and the opposite. And that's the zigzag. I'm all for go out there and take it. But seeing these people, some of them take very wrong turns and not listening, not looking back, just going like this, you know, tunnel vision on how much I love to say it. But hey, there's a really toxic side to self-improvement and we cannot forget that. And everyone's different, everyone's learning different, everyone consumes content a different way. So there's not gonna be a single person out there watching this video, receiving it exactly the same way. And I'm really good at taking one piece of information and finding 10 different interpretations. But I think that's why this is important to talk about it. So one thing, do not go out there and compare yourself. As a single mom with different side hustles and different little jobs, I'm the perfect example that you can, I cannot go into the gym. I have not been able to hit the gym for the past eight years or so. Yeah. I cannot go on Instagram and oh, everybody's posting their gym photos, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 9 a.m. I can't do that. I feel like a piece of trash. Don't do that because everyone's life is different. If you don't have the time, you don't have it. Don't beat yourself up for that. Time is really important. The little time you have, you can use that. Or you can try to make a little bit more time, you know, for example, I don't know, quit a job and try to save some money, you know, live in a really shitty place that provides you with time. That's for me. I don't want to live here. I live here because it's the only way I can create content. It's the only way I can do music because I know if I move away here right now, there's zero time. There's not going to be a video. There's not going to be music. There's going to be nothing because all I'm going to do is work two jobs. People out there, their life is different. You, you shouldn't compare yourself. Ayo, I've been told that. All these girls wearing these skinny leather jackets and those skinny leather jeans. Why are you not wearing that? You know why? Because I don't want to be like all of them girls. I want to be something else. And if I like to go to the men's section and get my XL large t-shirt and pants, let me. I'm not comparing, right? If that's what I want, that's what makes me feel comfortable, let me do it. Okay? Okay, here we go. <laughs> So this is number one, don't compare yourself, please don't. It's tough, we always compare, and you know, it's good to like, say, I don't know, there's people out there you can take something from, there's people out there you can idolize because they have, you know, obviously like Virgil Abloh, somebody like that, you can go and watch his videos and be like, wow, okay, his journey is incredible. Your journey is gonna be your own, but still, you know, there's things like that, but do not compare yourself and beat yourself up for that. Belief in oneself and knowing who you are, I mean, that's the foundation of everything great. With anything you want to achieve, you know, step one is action. I'm saying that because I've done it for years. I've done it for years. I motivated people that told me their goals and they weren't with it. They, they just would never even, you know, do something for them. It was just empty words. That's what it is, right? Nothing more than that. Because I'm all for action. I have failed and I'm proud of it, but hey. I done it. I don't, I'm not talking, going out there, yo, I want to do this and that, and I didn't do it. No, 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 not happening. I have crazy ideas and I have a lot of goals. And when I see other people have those goals too, I'm like, yo, go for it. But I don't want you to take it as, you know, go the toxic route of self-improvement. Never look back, never turn around, never listen to anyone because you are going like this. I'm like, oh no, oh no, that's not what I wanted. I gave you motivation, but do not do that shit, okay? You go in that way, and you're not looking left or right, and you're not listening, you're not trying to, you know, process what's going on. 
it's not happening right now baby you gotta turn around you gotta like open your eyes it's not that easy if it was that easy you could just get on a one-way ticket on a train go to that destination and whoa you've reached that goal yeah come on we would all stay awake for a week if it was if it was that easy if it was only about taking that one route but that's exactly why it's not easy because there is no one route there is no one way ticket to take and there's the destination it's just not that way cole made you feel empowered but he is not your savior when he says nobody's your savior he's right nobody's gonna come and save you right like you can take inspiration you can look at how other people did it like it's cool read read books if you want to about the journey of other people you know how they did their business and all of that but end of the day you are the one who has to save yourself and that's the hard part that's the tough part like that's not easy no 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 mm -mm. you know it's not easy telling your truth you know and things that you fear you got to be strong enough to admit your mistakes and just go out there, you know, and save yourself. Usually, there's not going to be this one person. There's not going to be this one event you go to and suddenly things start to blow up. At least don't wait for that to happen. It might happen on the way. It might happen unexpected, you know. The next vid video might be the one that takes you somewhere. But it will not be planned out. It will not be an event you have planned to go to for one year and you have all these expectations set so high that's already like gonna set you up to fail because every single time you plan something out like that it might just not happen at all right so you have that goal you want to get to right now, i'm not telling you to be all comfortable sometimes that means sleepless nights yeah not meet up with friends not go to the club not do things that you would kind of like to do sometimes you can work three days in a row just work at night whenever you got time you gotta be able to go from imbalance to balance. You gotta know yourself and your limits. And when you have reached that limit, be kind to yourself, give yourself a break. Yeah, you also need time to get the energy back. You can't go to burnout, you know? It's really the ability to transform that schedule, that path that you choose. Know when to keep going and when to take a step back. Working out everything that fits for you, that path, that tunnel vision that you're going on, working that thing out, that's actually really tough. If you are willing to take setbacks, if you are okay with, you know, make a little bit of a change, you are got to be okay with people not encouraging that change. It's got to come from within you. It's kind of find a balance between being imbalanced and balanced. You can't just be out there hustling for other people if there's something you want to do make time for that first and then you can you know work yourself between imbalance and balance and find that balance that schedule in between look at what you've done be strong enough to accept that this was not the right thing and reflect on that and learn from it you know you don't gotta do it you, you're probably gonna fail again but hey you're not making that one same mistake again and you have probably learned one percent and you're further ahead on that journey that's how tunnel vision goes all right by failing, accepting that, learning that, imbalancing, balancing, <laughs> balancing your life, whatever. <laughs> Reflecting and learning. I feel like it's, it's almost like a cycle that repeats over and over again. And if you can manage to keep going and be like, oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having set in these big expectations. It's almost like somebody put little sharp stones on the way and you're walking with your bare feet. So, you know, you got to balance your way through that. Don't give up. Stone, I don't know, you're bleeding? Well, you gotta take a break and heal and keep going. This is probably the most important video to watch for myself. <laughs> this is one of those things I struggle so much with. And by just putting this together into a topic and talking about it is helping me a lot. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments. Like, don't tell me your end goal. Wow. We don't want to talk about that. Keep that to yourself. But tell me what you're about, what you want to do, you know, anything. Tell me what you're passionate about. Leave a little comment there if you made it to this point of the video. That's awesome. And yeah, always remember you write your own story and don't let nobody take that pen from you. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. And since a kid, man, I always said to myself, bro, anything is possible. And it always comes around 
tenfold, 100% confirmation.